I have a word from the Lord, and I'm just going to give it to you guys. And it's coming from the book of John. And I'm going to seal this word in the blood of Jesus. So, Holy Spirit, I ask you that you touch every single one of those hearts. And that you open up the heart for your word to come in and make change and transformation inside the heart. In the name of Jesus, I bless you and I glorify his holy name. The word comes from the book of John, and it's John 3, 37, 39. And the word says like this, If anyone believes in me, rivers of living waters, <laughs> rivers of living waters will flow out from their hearts. So if we believe in the Lord, we have rivers of living water flowing out of our heart. That is what the scripture says. And the scripture doesn't lie. It says Jesus was talking about the spirit. The spirit had no gem being given to people because Jesus had no gem be raised to glory. But later, those who believe in Jesus will receive the spirit. What is belief? What is belief? Believe is when we see something and we accept it. We trust it. We feel sure that it's truth. So in Psalm 27, 13, the scripture says, I will have lost heart. I will have lost heart unless I had believed that I will see the goodness of the Lord. <laughs> that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What do we need to have in order for us to believe? Believe come with faith. And faith come with things that we have not seen. But we have seen it with our own eyes and imagination. Through faith, we believe because we have seen, we have revelation through the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is a spirit of truth and revelation. And many times the things that we see are not the things that the Lord is showing us. And because we can see what other people don't see, we have the faith to move <laughs> in a way that many times those people around us, that they don't move in that faith, they think that we are going, you know, insane. But it's not insanity. It's because we are moving in a radical faith on the living God who will never leave us or forsake us. That we trust him with all our heart because we believe in him. We believe in his word. We believe that he is alive in us. We believe that even though we have a crisis everywhere we move, there is a God that is great, greater than that, than, that, than that crisis. We believe that he's in control. We believe that the government is resting on his shoulder. We believe that he moves above and beyond things that we can even see or, or experience. And because we believe, we have faith. And at this point in time, there are many people falling apart without faith because they are looking at the circumstances. They are looking at the crisis. They are looking at the things that are happening right now in front of their eyes. Why they are falling apart? Because they don't believe. They don't believe the word of the Lord. They don't believe what the word says. He says, if I will have lost heart, I will have Lord heart unless I have believed that I will see the goodness of the Lord. <laughs> the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. It does no matter where our eyes are seen. <laughs> We need to open up our spiritual eyes and we need to be able to see the unseen in the natural. So we have to move into the supernatural. We have to rise above what we see, above the crisis, above the circumstances, above what we are facing. We have to arise above. And how can we do that? By believing. Believing in what? In the word of God. Believing in a God that is supernatural. Believing in a God that he's seated in a throne of glory. And then he had no fall out of that throne of glory. And the government, as the scripture says, rests on his shoulders. <laughs> How can we get there? Seek him. Seek him. 
He's seeking for his children. He wants his children to run to him. He wants his children to run to the rivers of living water. The only him can give us. There is nothing that can give us what we need to be able to overcome and to face what is coming. Nothing. It's only through one. Through one and one alone. And that is Jesus. And if you don't know this Jesus that I'm talking about... <laughs> I want you to pray with me. I want you to pray this prayer of salvation. And it will take you from dying to life. From darkness to life. From death to resurrection. That's where we are going when we receive Jesus in our heart. Because he's a God that is alive in us. He's not in the cross. He came back out of that cross on the third day. The Father resurrected him. So he's seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for our life. He's an intercessor. He's a loving, loving Jesus. And he loves us unconditionally. So he's seeking after his children. So he can re we can receive them in our hearts. And we can become very close to him. And that's what he wants. He wants to have a relationship with us in which he takes us into the secret place of his presence. And in that secret place of his presence, he invades us completely. He changes us. He transforms us. It's, it's like he's giving us rivers of living water and will ever, ever will be thirsty again. And it's only through him and with him. That we can be doing this. We cannot do this alone. We can't do this alone. So I want you to pray with me tonight. And say Lord Jesus. Today I surrender my life. Completely into your arms. Lord I ask you for repentance. For every sin that I have committed. Sins of omission and commission. Sins that I have committed with my eyes. With my ears with my walk, with my body language, with my words. Father, I repent from the bottom of my heart. Remove out of my life every root of iniquities, Lord. Father, set me totally free in you. I know that you died in the cross for me, and on the third day, the Father resurrected you. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for my life. Tonight, I surrender my life completely to you. Come live in my heart, Jesus. I break every covenant with my flesh, with the world, with my words, with Satan. And open up a new covenant with Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. The day that I die, when I open up my eyes, I will be in your arms. <laughs> in Jesus' name I pray. I bless you today. I bless you today, and I'm going to say a prayer for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, that tonight you touch every single one of those at the sound of my voice. And it does not matter what they are going through. It does not matter what they are facing. Lord, give them an abundant, radical faith. A radical faith. They will, will, they will rise above their circumstances. They will rise above the crisis. They will rise above any family problems in the name of Jesus. Any marriage problem. Any kind of problem that they are facing, Lord. Or sickness that they are facing, Lord. That they will seek you, Lord. And they will go to you for answers in the name of Jesus. I bless you. And I glorify his holy name and let the presence of the Lord overflow upon your life so he can give you an abundant rivers of living waters in which he's going to take over your life and it's going to be changing you and transforming you from the inside out in the name of Jesus. I bless you tonight and I glorify his holy name for him alone is the one that takes all the glory. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Bye-bye.